right, we are at the point in memory where we're ready to do our memory project. You have to finish your uh, pre-project skirmish in order to see the memory project. And you can see the memory project showing up down here, as well as your ability to make a choice. I'm going to go to choice first and show you what those look like. Um, these are the choices. It explains what it means up here, but let's look at choice number one. Choice number one says fastest home and cheapest gamer. That saying, when we talk about our memory, the fastest memory you can find for your presented home motherboard and the cheapest memory you can find for your presented gamer motherboard. You are not selling us like you're the motherboard person. You are from a memory manufacturer and you're selling us a stick of memory for your ASUS whatever motherboard and your ASUS whatever gamer motherboard. And you are selling us the fastest, if you had choice number one, the fastest option for your home and the cheapest option for the gamer. You can see fastest business, cheapest home, fastest gamer, cheapest business. Down here, these choices are non-overclocked fastest these up here are overclocked. So what does that mean? Let's look at the, the project definition itself. So again, you are from a memory manufacturer. Here's a list of those manufacturers that you, are, that you can use. Let's say I'm from the company HyperX. So I'm going to be from HyperX. I'm going to be talking like I'm from HyperX. I'm going to show you where the HyperX company is, where the headquarters looks like, where the headquarters is, how long we've been in business, what we sell, talking about HyperX first, because you're representing that company, and then you're gonna show us two different sticks of RAM, both made by HyperX that you found for those motherboards that you originally presented during your motherboard presentation. So, two different sticks for two different motherboards. So if you look at the rubric, it says, this is your motherboard, you're going to show us, hey, this is from the Asus whatever motherboard or the Gigabyte or whatever. And it takes this memory. And you're going to show us the whole list of memory that it takes. And then if you had choice number one, you're going to say the fastest memory that this home motherboard takes is this. Now, you're going to give us this information about um, your memory, the brand model, in this case, HyperX and what the model is, DDR4, what speed it is, whether it's ECC or non-ECC whether it's a single channel stick or a dual channel model or module or in case of the gamer maybe it's a quad channel module um, what your cast latency or cl number is what the voltage is and anything else you want to tell us this is an important highlight down here for your home pc you're selling us eight gig no more low no less that can be an eight gig stick it can be two four gig sticks but it has to be that if that means that you got the fastest home and the fastest home stick that they sell in an eight gig stick is ddr 430 even though at 4400 you've got to sell us an eight gig stick it's the fastest that you can find that size business pcs get 16 gig Gamer PCs get 32 gig, no more, no less. You can sell us four individual sticks of um, eight for the 32 gig, but in the end, your price has to be for 32 gig RAM if you were gaming, and you have to show us 32 gig of RAM. The rubric is right down here. You can take a look at that. All the information is right here on the memory project slide, but again, you are representing a memory company and presenting us two different sticks of RAM for the two different motherboards that you presented during the original motherboard presentation. And that's it.